Bowl. I'm Brooklyn Bowl. This is Rain and Bowl. And together we are Australia by the Balls. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to be showing Sam my hometown, Australind and Bunbury. Now I'm pretty excited, we're just down at Belvedere Beach. Um, behind me is this beautiful wetland, um, but yeah, I'm excited to show you guys. Here we go. Sam's looking for his trusty rock. The perfect rock. <laughs> Beach is just over this dune, so we're going to air down now. Rock is too big. It's not very trusty then. Sixty seconds. Sixty. <laughs> Sixty. All right. Let me find my rock, and I'll help. Alrighty. So I've never been to this beach before, but Brooklyn is a Bunbury local, so she assures me it should be pretty good. So I'm just going to run around the corner, have a look see what the tide's doing and um, yeah the tide's looking pretty high i just leave my shoes come back grab them later here's the beach we found it the tide is looking quite high i don't actually know if it's going in or out We've let the tyres down, so I think the plan is we're going to head up that way and we're going to go try and find the cut. We went the wrong way. Make sure you go right, not left. You can't get down onto the beach from left. All right, so it is very boggy on this beach. Uh, we haven't picked the tides either. So we're just kind of winging it at the moment. So the tide, it looks like the tide is pushing up. So we're not gonna stay on the beach too long, I don't think. And it is very boggy. So we're actually below the high tide line at the moment, which is a little bit sketchy. It is winter down in Bunbury and a positive of that is that we have the whole beach to ourselves, which is amazing. So we're going to go down, park up and do a little cook up. So we've got leftovers. It doesn't look appealing, but trust me, it's delicious. I've just cooked up some chicken with oregano and Cajun spices, some capsicum, zucchini and a bit of onion. Usually I just chuck it in a wrap or with some rice, but we don't have that today. So I brought with me some trusty hummus. So I'm going to heat it up, chuck some hummus on top and off we go. That's it. <laughs> We were thinking about going the full induction setup, but when we really started weighing up uh, cost versus what you actually get for it, 
we didn't think it was worth it. So we've already got a battery system. So we've just got a little portable battery system. So you can see it here, just literally just a battery box. And that's it. So it's portable. We've got the gas cooker, also portable. So the idea is we can go pull up somewhere, take everything out, leave it there, and then we can go exploring if we want. Um, or we can just leave it in the car. Really gives us options. How nice is this? Pretty good view. Little secret spot. <laughs> oh, Rooney, it's okay, baby. So all down in here, this is all campsites. So you can camp down here. So. Belvedere Beach is 17 kilometers north of Australind. It's very different scenery to what we're used to up in Exmouth, that's for sure. That is $11 per night, uh, and the rangers come around and they can collect the fees daily, so you don't need to pre-book. Yeah, it looks really nice. They actually had picnic tables and like a little um, campfire set up at each site, so yeah, it looks like you just bring your own wood. Looks really nice. Yeah, it was nice. Lots of greenery and trees and shade. Uh, it is very cold at night though, so you definitely want to have a fire. Yeah, heaps of people are swagging it. It doesn't look like the campsites are massive for, you know, someone with a caravan. Yeah, we did see one caravan in there, so you can get vans in there. <clears throat> um, otherwise, it's probably just a five minute drive from the beach. All right, so we're gonna pump up the tires and then we will see you back in Bunbury. It is almost golden hour and we have made it to the cut. Finally, it just took us all day to get here. We're just <laughs> on the wrong side. <laughs> Let's go have a look. So you got the ocean out there and then the Collie River that leads into the estuary and then out through the cut to the ocean. Right so we were meant to be on this side. See, how did they get there? That's the real question. How did they get there? Because <laughs> we couldn't. <laughs> Tell you what, I would not want to take our little tinny out through here. It looks very rough. Well, there's been a heap of great white sightings here as well. What, in this river? Right here. Because I think there's a break on that side that people surf at now. And yeah, there's been some, well, Dad has told me this, so he, maybe he's just trying to scare me. First look at the cut. What do you think? Okay, let's get this little hand. <laughs> Keep that little hand warm. It's actually very cold. Let's go have a look at the beach. It's about dark, so we're probably gonna pack up now, go back to the house, cook some dinner, get Ron into bed, and then tomorrow we're gonna go see another side of Bunbury. So I've just brought Sam up to the iconic Bunbury lookout. 
Now I think anyone that's been to Bunbury has been to this lookout. You can see all of Bunbury um, and we just went and had a coffee at the Happy Wife which was really nice and yeah we're gonna go down to Kambana Bay and have a look around. All right see you at the top. up down at Kumbana Bay. It is pretty quiet because it's so cold but across the road from Kumbana Bay is a discovery park. Now if I was staying in Bunbury in a caravan or camping this is probably the spot that I would like to stay at. It is a discovery park but it is just across the road from the bay. Um, in summer it's so busy down here but it would be beautiful. Local recommendation. <laughs> it just looks really nice and I know they've got heaps of um, kid friendly options to do in there and then it also backs on to the little estuary inlet um, that's down there as well but we'll show you around Kambana Bay. Let's go find some dolphins. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> My new jumper. We've had to do a quick jumper swap because Brooklyn got too cold. <laughs> oh, your jumper's so much warmer than mine. <laughs> look at the furs. <laughs> I'm so cold. I think I look absolutely <laughs> stunning. Ooh. There you go. Makes you look more slimming now. <laughs> make it work, Jill. Make it work, strike a pose. Make it work, Jill. Make it work, strike a pose. <laughs> Just like that, our weekend exploring Bunbury is over. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you at the next one.